So go ahead and state your full name for the camera. Uh, Dr. Thomas Stanley Fortson. I think that the youth of the day have great opportunity, um, and I'm encouraged by what I see. I feel that I've just played a small part in this, like other men my age, uh, with my experience, are, are, are doing. I think we're spending more time recognizing that it's not about our generation. It's not about us, but we, we're looking back on our lives now uh, as adults, <clears throat> uh, men in our 60s and uh, late 60s and early 70s, we're now looking in the rear view mirror, not as if our work is done, but we're seeing what we could have done better. As we look forward, we see the opportunities uh, that are ahead. Number one, the world is changing uh, rapidly. It, it's like we live in communities uh, that it's difficult to see the dividing line. Uh, we live in a country now that's that's changed, whether it's the baby boomers, whether it's the millenniums, and each of those have different characteristics. Uh, the, the, uh, the world of technology uh, <clears throat> has changed. It's interesting when I look at my kids, they, they're telling me, Dad, you don't need a landline. Why do you have a landline? Why do you got a cell phone? Well, technology uh, uh, has changed, and I, I've learned from them. And so as we learn, those of us that are older, as we learn from younger people, we're recognizing that they have even greater opportunity uh, to be successful uh, than, than we did. I think it's going to take the community. It's going to take mentoring. It's going to continue to take uh, us as older men, and we're talking about young, young boys now, uh, to stay involved in their life, not to tell them what to do, but to give them guidance and share with them on our successes and our failures and to share with them what they need and should avoid. So I see great opportunities uh, in the future for our young people. At the same time, uh, there's, there's still danger. There's still the perils that they're going to be they're facing uh, to get off track, um, to not to invest uh, in families, uh, and not for them to invest in other uh, young people. That might have been a failure of our generation. We, we were spending time trying to be successful ourselves. We didn't spend enough time, and I know it's relative, we didn't spend enough time with that next generation that's coming, that was coming behind us. So I have great uh, hope for the future. At the same time, there's going to be a challenge. We as older adults are going to have to step up and step aside and allow this next generation to be who they are and not necessarily to be like us. I think there's some character qualities that are needed, but not to do the same thing and not to be uh, who we were because times have changed, uh, the world has changed, but with the world changing uh, as quickly and in such a broad sense, the opportunities are great. And I'm encouraged by what I see. And I'm also encouraged uh, to see these young people and what they are achieving. In spite of what you hear a lot, the negative, I'm encouraged by the positive news, uh, the things that I see and read about, about this next generation that's coming uh, that will lead us to be uh, even more successful than we ever thought we could be.